in Nathan. I'm now in Chandni Chowk in Delhi, going to Red Fording areas. You can see this area is very crowded. The easiest way to reach this area is uh, sorry, is the Chandni Chowk metro station. This is the original, you can see the administrative part of Delhi. The time of the Mughals. That's a fish can with Gurudara Udar. So be careful over here. A lot of thieves, a lot of crowds. Okay, the Gurudara you can see is the Sishkan Gurudara. It's called the Sishkan Gurudara because the ninth Sikh Guru, Guru Tej Bahadur Ji Maharaj, uh, head was found over here. He was killed by the last so called Great Mughal Emperor of India, Aurangzeb, who was the number one asshole. So they found his head over here. He refused to convert to Islam, so he got to beheaded. Apart from that, his son, people, his son to followers were killed along with him. Why did it occur? Because there was a number of followers of him who complained in Kashmir that the pundits were complaining that these people are forcing him to forcing them to change their religion to Islam. So he sent across a message if the king could convert him, he will all the people will convert his son. So Aurangzeb thought it will be so easy and he ordered him to come but then he imprisoned him and killed him. He entered martyrdom and then the and the Guru whose son, Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, continued to struggle against oppression that eventually resulted in the destruction of the Mughal Empire, which is possibly the number one empire in the world at that time. So the Mughals plus Marathas plus many other great uh, Indians fought against tyranny and saved India. But alas, it didn't last and then the British came from This is, you can see the administration part of the Mughal Empire. There you can see one church, Central Baptist Church. This, you can see the church. area is actually not good for living. It's not according to me. Too crowded. One church over here, I don't know whether the British has built it or Mughal's time it built. A lot of temples, a lot of mosques, and a big market over here. Is the Red Fort, that is the seat of the power of the Mughals. In the current Indian government, okay, so we can see the Red Fort over here. This is the iconic place where the flag of India is hoisted on August 15th every year. This fort was usually, when it was built, said to be built by Shah Jahan. It was surrounded by water on all the four sides. And there's a painting also that shows that this was protected by the Yamuna River. All the four sides. But now things have changed. The river has now moved at least some 10 kilometers away. When it got flooded last year, the water overtook the banks. So it got the old feeling again. The red for today. I will be going tomorrow because the museum is closed, and tomorrow I will be going to the museum. Everything. This is the red for ground. So I'll just do a small walk around Chandni Chowk and see whether I can go into the market. This is the road right out across the road from uh, Redford. You can see the Jama Masjid there is one of the biggest mosques in India. Second and third. Too much rush. Around the here yeah, to take a left from somewhere to go that side. So across it. Across it here is absolutely a good. You can see the traffic on the road. This traffic in this area is bad. Uh, and I'm going to the Java Mandir road. I can see also building the old places. I don't know. The tourist spot, yes. I think you can come here as a tourist. But I think I can live in such a place. Before. You can see. The second you have to go the front to back. See over here. 
जनरल बिल्टर और क्या गियर गॉट इज बिल्ट नो आइडिया जस्ट इन दिस ह्यूज मास्क आई डोंट नो वेदर एंट्री विल बी अलाउड नाउ थिंक ही बिल्ड दिस मास्क और रेड फोर्ट द पैकेज ये कोई पकड़ ले यार रूल फ्रॉम देयर एंड ही विल कम फॉर प्रेइंग अवे इफ ही सीज द कंडीशन व्हाट दिल्ली इज बिकम नाउ आफ्टर फोर डेज आई थिंक ही विल फील वेरी सैड दिस इज द मार्केट राइट अपन बस जंप ऑन दिस as you can see friday also an important day for the islamic faith no crowd so this is the market this is the mosque let's go let's see my sir of the total of people can sit inside the building let's see the conditions of the building Horrible. But then, just for population and less space, you can do. You have to be careful. Okay, now. If you look at this place, it's chaos. How the people live over here? No idea, but I talk to these people. My goodness. I think this was the place where the kings used to stay. Yeah, I'm just capturing the market environment. This mosque opens at 11 o'clock every day and closes at 9 p.m. Uh, preferably come at 11 because there's too much noise, as you can see at this time. So I'm not going inside it today. This space called Gali Khasim Jan, which is the way to Raja College Haveri. It closes at 6. It's 5:30 approximately around this. I think another 130 meters to the left. I will reach the place. Okay, this is Gali Khasim Jan. This big mosque over here. You have to be careful while recording in this area. You can see the roads. All these are buildings built long time ago. And then I, the place I'm planning to go is to the left. Like I said, there's no walking space. 